Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, I'm on my six foot nine build. I went into the wreck with my guy, Beast. We're playing with some randoms, and you guys are going to see some unreal defense today, some unreal scoring. I mean, starting the game off with a step back to the corner. I haven't showed you guys my six foot nine lock build a ton. That's because, you know, nobody really cares too much to see lockdowns play. But, you know, in a game like this, you know, I'm starting off with a step back three. I'm getting a block. Unfortunately, they do score off of it. And I even do a lot of ball handling in this video. This was my first build that I made when NBA 2K23 dropped. And I love it, man. There is absolutely a reason that 6'9 is the build that most people have. And that is because you can almost play the 1 through 5 as this height, as the badge tiering. I mean, it is the perfect build to have in NBA 2K23. Now, of course... And that guy gets a charge right there as he times the dunk meter pretty decently. That is unfortunate. My player was about to go help him. But I understand that you get tired of seeing six foot nines all over the court. Even myself, you rarely see me play on my six foot nine. But I would not recommend another height for you guys to have if you are just making an all around build. I mean, check this out. We get the ball. We're going down court. I'm able to chuck it up court to the guy for the easy dunk. Eight to two start. Another reason I love playing on this build in the rec too, especially playing with randoms, is sometimes you get frustrated about your teammates not playing great defense. With this build, I can kind of be everywhere at once. I can switch onto the ball if I need to. I can rebound like I'm doing right there. Again, I'm throwing it down court with the fast break. He gives it back to me. I'm in the paint, dishing it back out to Beast. He goes with the step back. And you guys are just going to see us annihilating this team the whole entire game. I've already got my lock take over activated. Now, sometimes when you're playing in the wreck and you're blowing teams out, it can be boring. But if you're just having a crazy game, it is a lot of fun. He misses the shot right there. Again, I'm trying to blitz. I'm out on the fast break. 86 driving dunk for this build. I got the clamp breaker right there. Was not expecting him to just kind of run away from me. He was probably trying to find his arrow. I see the open shooter at the three-point line. And just like that, man, it is 13 to 2. And I don't want to say that it's just me kind of causing all the havoc, which is why they can't score. But, I mean, I'm doing a lot of it. And I'm even doing some things on offense using the dunk meter right there. And they are making the wreck mistake 101. Not getting back on defense. You see my teammates see me. I'm just there for the simple, easy dunk. Get the two points on the board. I'm playing the inbound. Unfortunately, I don't come up with a steal. But I am just trying to cause havoc. Trying to be a headache for this team. Just look at the sequence right here. I see they're stepping up on me. Beast comes down. Hits the three right here. But the possession should be over. But I'm going to make it start once again. I get the steal right here. Dunking on him in the paint. Doing things a lock should always do. Even when I'm not getting the ball in the possession. I'm still going for the offensive rebounds. Just getting another simple putback dunk right there. To give us a 21 point lead. Not just hustling on the offensive rebounds though. Always trying to get back for the fast break threes. As you see they give up right here. They are just not fast enough to keep up with me. And I mean really. It is like deja vu. The very next possession I get dotted in the corner again for the wide open three. Fast break defense is a must. And being able to not throw turnovers on the inbound is a must. I and again, like clockwork, I'm just getting my easy buckets, getting the, what is not even a fast break. It's just me running on inbounding the ball. They're not paying attention. I mean, we're pretty much triple teaming them at this point. They got people cold. I'm getting a block right there. Got the lock takeover activated, going into the paint, getting another block, trying to get out to the three-point line. Unfortunately, not quite quick enough, but you know, I can get something. It was open, not wide open. So many little things happening. I know he's going to try to pass the ball to my guy. I end up playing the lane, getting the interception. We're out on the fast break. Everybody is eating. Everybody's getting their buckets. Everybody's having a good time. Nobody quitting on our team because, you know, we're not the ones down 52 to 13. Check this out. They end up getting an offensive rebound. I fly in there for the block again. Team takeover activated. Our 7 foot 2 center out on the fast break. Everything going our way. Honestly, the perfect gameplay that you would want to have in the wreck as a lock. I mean, the stat line, 19, 6, and 5, 4 steals, 4 blocks, only have missed 2 shots. And this is not even showing everything else I'm doing all the court, everything I'm doing to disrupt them on offense as they got 21 points. 
I mean, not every single possession is a block. You got possessions right here where I just get a great contest. You're not going to see that on the stat sheet, but we end up getting a rebound scoring because of it. Again, you can get a lot of easy buckets just doing this. I'm running my route, getting in front of them, going up with the dunk, making the man cold. The possession right here, you know, nearly getting a steal. I probably could have got it. He dots the paint. I fly in to get another block. Now, again, unfortunately, they do score off of it, but the blocks, the steals right now, they are going crazy on my six foot nine lock. Check this out too, pulling out the ball handling chops, a symbol behind the back to the paint. Dunk meter, it didn't have to, but I was feeling like it. I was swagging a little bit. Playing the inbound like you have never seen. I mean, check this out. I tip the pass, my guy gets it, dots me wide open for three. Of course, I'm ready to shoot it. Another green. A poke right here, playing his ball hand out on the fast break once again. Got the lock takeover, so my acceleration is going pretty hard. Beast ends up getting the ball with a pretty flashy standing dunk, a 360. You don't see those too often from bigs. Something you are seeing quite often me out on the fast break with the front clutch right here. And of course, I got the workhorse on. I'm playing hustle basketball, getting it right here. But dishing it, being unselfish, you know, I can score my points. I like to get my assist too. I want to keep that A plus so I can get as much rep as I possibly can from this rec game. They're kind of throwing it up court, you know, definitely a frustration play by them. A beautiful inbound play you guys are going to see right here. Beast dots me. He goes to the corner. They're not paying enough attention. He gets the wide open shot. I throw the wide open dot. 88 to 33. I mean, the game was just never in doubt. We started off with what, like a 20 to 5 run. Hard to come back from that, especially when you have somebody playing I mean, even it's starting to rub off on the teammates, too. They're starting to play some D2 now. They're getting steals. Beast with the shot right here. The whole game, I feel like I just have a straight run to the paint. I mean, check this out. He's trying to play a lane, but why? Do not let me get that easy of a bucket. We're trying to hit that 100 point mark at this point. Nothing else really to go for. But check out what 2K is going to do to me. There is one minute left in the game. I got an A+, 34, 6, and 10. I got a crazy amount of blocks, a crazy amount of steals, and all of the sudden, a problem has occurred. 2K saying something went wrong, but, you know, I still got... I, I don't know. There's nothing wrong. Like, I'm, I'm still connected. I can still talk in the party. I don't know what happened. You know, you know, let me know if that's ever happened to you guys where you just get the random problem has encountered and you don't get any of the hard work you did you know none of the rep none of the badge points none of that but you know good game regardless this is talk man i'll catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace